Hello and welcome to Batovia Academy's Learn RxJS training. This video is an overview of the entire course. Before we start, it's important to make sure everyone knows about Batovia's community Slack. It's a great place to get help on these exercises and talk tech with like-minded folks. So as I mentioned, this course is about RxJS. RxJS and other observable libraries are a great way of making complex state. To learn RxJS, we're going to build this validating credit card form. Specifically, this form validates input as a user types, but only once a user blurs an input element. It enables the pay button once the credit card information is valid. It disables the pay button and changes its text to paying while payment is being processed. And it logs a success message when the payment has completed. This exercise will use a tiny bit of TypeScript and a little bit of Angular for the view and component layers. RxJS can be used with any framework, but RxJS and Angular are like ball and glove, so it makes sense if we're gonna pick a framework to use Angular. If you are familiar with other frameworks, everything here should just make sense. To complete this course, we will complete the following steps. First, we will learn the basics of RxJS and how to create observables. Then we will set up Basic validation, we'll show how to debug RxJS, which is handy if you're writing this without seeing the answers. And we'll show up how to make it so that uh, uh, the errors only show up when someone has blurred and apply this to then all of the different fields. And finally, we'll actually implement the pay button. While doing this process, we will be building observables. This graph here shows the relationship between the observables in the page. While thinking about RxJS, it's important to understand the flow of one observable to another. Observables here are color-coded. There are source or input observables in red. These take some input from the user. For example, user card number is what the user has entered into the card number input. Next are the output observables. These are used by Angular's view to update the DOM. Finally, there are intermediate observables that are used to translate source observables into output observables. We will be building up this graph over the course of the course. Finally, some important notes on completing this training. This training can be done in CodePen, but it's useful to have the vertical view. I also recommend creating a CodePen account so you can save your CodePen so it doesn't get lost. All right, with all that being said, hopefully you're ready to start the next part. See you there.